Hey, how's it going today? This is Sean with Colton RV in Orchard Park, New York. And me, this is the Keystone Outback 313RL. Uh, so a little insight into the Outback. This is going to be one of Keystone's premier RV lines that they offer. Uh, starting off at the very front, uh, this is actually the only RV in the industry that offers a 7-point automatic leveling system. Simply powers on from there. Uh, and you're going to have from the tongue, two in the front, two in the middle, two in the rear all automatic just the push of a button is going to get your RV completely leveled off for you. Uh, do keep in mind that this is a pretty heavy duty camper you might need a little bit more truck than your average travel trailer requires. Uh, this one comes in weighing in about 7600 pounds 35 feet long with a thousand fifty uh, pound hitch weight. So this is a pretty heavy duty camper this isn't going to be for your average uh, you know weekender but could certainly be used for that if you got the right truck for it. Uh, a couple of nice things that you're going to get with the full Keystone because they do have an ultralight series but this is going to be the full blown. They do have a, a molded fiberglass front cap. You see that they have the spray liner uh, rock guard in the front that points down towards the road to keep those stones from bouncing back at your truck, putting them right down to the floor. Uh, something really unique about the Outback as well, uh, they're built on what's called the Norco chassis. So these chassis instead of your typical Lipper chassis. Uh, that are stored all over fields, have weeds growing through them. Uh, the Norcos are actually stored in a warehouse and they're not gonna go outside until the camper's actually been built uh, and it's going out for shipping to your local dealer. Uh, so again, that's a big thing for them, uh, that chassis. Coming up over towards the front, you've got the slam latches with the magnetic grabs up top. And in this floor plan specifically, you do have a nice little pull out slider tray. Look how far out that goes. And that's going to go pretty close to the other side. Uh, located on the other side is actually going to be your hot water heater, but this is going to give you a full access so you nearly get a pass through storage on this one. So right up above us here, so this is a 21 foot power awning. This is actually the largest awning that you can get for the Keystone Outbacks. Uh, fully powered from inside, easy switch. And now you've got these new LED lights that are right on the arms of each one to keep your campsite going at night. So again, 35 feet in total length. So this is a pretty big camper. Uh, a little bit more new. A lot of you are probably seeing it these days with these new fold up, fold down steps. So it just makes, you know, setting up, tearing down a little easier. It's gonna give you a nice stable entry in and out of the camper. And then when it's time to set it up, simply release the arm. Adjustable leg. So if you're on an uneven site, it just goes down just like that. So Keystone has actually developed a new system called Key TV. Uh, this is essentially going to be uh, extra RGA cables uh, to help split up your signal. So if you go to, maybe you're a seasonal site camper and they have TV hookups for you at your campsite. Uh, when you go and you tap into this system over here, if you got TV going in the back, TV in the front, maybe you got a TV set up outside, uh, that signal's not gonna get split up uh, so unevenly anymore. So one TV is not gonna pull a better signal than the other. This is gonna keep everything really nice and clean so your family can be entertained from any point in the camper. So it is a fully walkable roof, uh, TPO membrane style roof up on the top that has a 12 year warranty on it. Uh, and every uh, 15 inches on center are gonna be the aluminum trusses in this camper. So a uh, very well built coach, uh, very well rounded. This thing is really meant to be pretty rugged, pretty off road. Even though it is really big, again, you're gonna need a decent truck for this one. Um, still, it's going to give you access to go further into your camp season with that Arctic package that it's built with standard, uh, whether you're doing early spring, late fall, combination of the two, this camper is going to allow you to extend your camping season. So for the 313RL, you'll kind of see once we get onto the inside that, uh, you know, this camper is really spacious. So on this model, you've got quite a few slides on it, uh, but you'll again get a better look at that on the inside over here so you do have your docking station which that's going to be for you know your water hookups uh, and then down below is your dump station black tank gray tank this thing's got huge tank capacities on it uh, so again if you want to travel with some water you've got plenty of room to do so uh, this is a pretty self-sufficient camper and then down here just a little bit more outside storage so it's a 50 amp service on the camper it does come with the cable and then in that docking station just a little hose that comes with it so you can hook that up. And again, those magnetic grab latches that just make life a little bit easier for you. 
So if you do want to add solar to the coach, it does have a plug and play system that's right here for it. Uh, this surface is going to tie right into the front where the batteries are going to sit on this one. Uh, basically it'll act like a trickle charger. If you do want to eventually upgrade your solar and really make this an off the grid style camper, uh, the membrane's already there for it for you to start that out. Let's go take a look on the inside, shall we? So now this is the new setup that Keystone, they've kind of brought this color styling to a lot of their other floor lines. Uh, essentially they hired an interior designer to give it a modern farmhouse type look. So you're gonna have these nice neutral grays, dark browns, blacks, um, a lot of a lot of good curb appeal to it. So it's something that's contemporary that gives you a lot of comfort and a lot of convenience in this floor plan specifically. Uh, from tons of counter space, all sorts of usable places, little sink cover, adjustable water nozzle, and your propane cooktop. And now this is actually cast iron on top here and a glass oven. So in your old traditional RV styles where it's just a metal door, uh, a lot of times the ovens are useless. Most people actually just use it for storage uh, because of the heat dissipation that you would get from those old stoves. So adding this glass front to it, you're actually seeing that people are having a much easier time and a better experience using the ovens in their camper. And for those that don't actually want to use the oven and want an easier way to cook, there is a microwave so your hot pockets are safe in here. So because the Outback is made to be a little bit more off the grid so you can take this where you want to go, you do have a two-way fridge so if you don't have power hookups where you're going, uh, you can run this refrigerator off of your propane as well. Now taking a look towards the back here, now we do have the, uh, the large slide over here that's going to set up a nice entertainment area with a 48 inch uh, fireplace down below. So that fireplace actually works off your electric too, so you don't have to waste any propane on it. Uh, that's going to be pretty good for just taking the chill out of the air. It's not going to heat the whole entire coach for you by any means, but at least this area that we're standing in generally can get pretty toasty. So there are different ways that you can get this option out. We do have the theater seats available in this floor plan with the reclining chairs, uh, drop down dinette for extra sleeping, and there is some storage under there as well. Now this is probably one of everybody's favorite features that's on here. You've got this huge pantry on this barn sliding door just to kind of complete that contemporary farmhouse look for you. Uh, but again, tons of space inside there um, and even a little spot to maybe hang up some coats uh, if you're kind of running out of storage for that. So now take a look on the inside for the bathroom here. So it's quite spacious and you do get a really deep medicine cabinet over the top too. Place for like a laundry basket next to the sink. Storage underneath that. Uh, sliding glass door for your shower. So it's gonna be really comfort oriented. And then down below here, this is a porcelain toilet with the foot flush. And so you do have a skylight in here. 12 volt operated fan up above to exhaust all the steam out from taking a hot shower. Uh, but again, I mean, the bathroom's quite spacious. Uh, again, you got 35 feet on this trailer and they maximize every space of it. Now coming back into here, uh, so now you've got an extremely large bed back here. Uh, this is a king size back here. So uh, down below, check this out. So if you guys are actually gonna bring your pets camping with you, there's actually a spot to keep them. Worried about where Fido's gonna sleep? Well, he's got a spot. And if you look underneath here, if you're not gonna bring Fido with you, uh, you can just use the bottom underneath here for extra storage. So plenty of space in there. And if you do see, it's actually got a nice little lining on the inside. So if you do have your pet, they're gonna have somewhere comfortable to be. As far as the rest of the bedroom goes, so you do have plenty, plenty, plenty of storage. Travel locks on your mirror sliding doors. Uh, and that does go to the end of the camper over here. More and more storage. And here's just like a really small detail that really sticks out to me about Outback. I mean, it's really gonna be all solid wood. You can see it's all cedar lined on the inside. So Keystone has done a really good job with this camper. Uh, it's something that I think someone can really, you know, make a house a home away from home with. Great time of year to come out and get some year end specials. We still have a ton of inventory that's left over. I'm sure we can find something for you guys. So 
come on down to either location, Orchard Park, North Tonawanda, stop in and say hi. Let's see if we can help you out here.